So beginner malware developers wrote a blog on this actually today-ish. Sorry, that's a book that I'm reading. ValhallaResearch.net. Um, how to develop good malware and software in general. Um, so let me share the link to that blog real quick. Um, so basically my, th my thought process on it is this. If you want to become a better malware developer, um, you have to develop more malware. You have to read more malware source code. You have to become good at different stacks. Stacks being like C, C++, Rust, um, Windows API, Linux, I mean, all kinds of stuff. I've got tons of like more granular explanations of all of these pieces of advice, but what it all kind of boils down to is this. You need to focus on becoming a better developer. Don't focus on becoming a better malware developer specifically, even if that's the most fun thing to you. Like it's, it's enjoyable to me too. That's why I live stream it, but you need to become good at development, which is why I do all kinds of weird projects. It's why I'm like writing web apps. It's why I'm thinking about like doing graphics coding and things like that. Like you need to focus on becoming a good developer and understanding development and then apply that to your pet projects. So apply that to writing malware, apply that to, you know, writing web applications, apply that to all of these different things that you want to do. Um, and that blog that I just shared that I spent entirely too much time writing last night, basically like breaks down a roadmap on how to do that. Um, and because it was like a super long blog, I'm not just going to completely like read from it. Um, but essentially one of the like biggest pieces of, uh, of advice I have for you is to go out and like write as much software as humanly possible and to dive into the docs and really understand what it is you're looking at and that's going to really help you a lot in kind of your journey because one of the biggest mistakes I made early on was I'm going to write malware. I'm going to become a good malware developer and I never learned C and I never learned C++ and I never learned the Windows API and now I'm having to learn all of that stuff and I'm, you know, doing it live, which is why, you know, it's going very slowly. But, you know, that was a big mistake for me early on was focusing on I want to be a, a really good malware developer and not I want to be a really good developer. I, I want to focus on writing malware in C and not I want to focus on like learning C. You know, like I just showed you, I don't know how to explain what a T-char is. I, I, I should. I'm trying to like live stream this stuff. I should know how to explain what a T-char is. But the essentials of it is don't focus on like becoming a good malware developer focus on becoming a good developer that develops malware sometimes or all the time. I don't care. You know, you do your thing. Um, but yeah, that blog, um, I think, you know, obviously I'm biased, but I think it's a really good roadmap on kind of how to learn and how to become a better developer. Um, I'm missing stuff. I actually noted at the very end that this is probably going to be a living doc or I'm going to have, like publish updates and things like that. Um, so don't like read it like the Bible. It's just something that might like be a decent guide for like how to become a better developer over time. Um, but really like at the end of the day, code, write tons of projects, read tons of code, read the docs. God, just read the docs like that, that, that can help you so much. Read the docs deeply and understand the docs and like really like focus on understanding what's going on there. Because again, I made the mistake of not doing that and now I'm kind of kicking myself over it. 